having a laugh. He's having a vocal tower expense. He's having a laugh. He's having a right good gaff. He's having a rough scoff. And I'll be jumping to the top. And if you're not in it, you're not. Well, that's just tough. Hello, Mr. Nutter on the mobile phone. Hello, sir. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Yeah, what's your name? Uh, my name is James. Di- Dave? Jane. Jane? Yes. Yes, Jane. No, look, Jane. James. Oh, sorry, James. Hello, James. Hello, hello Caesar. Are you all right? Uh, uh, yeah, well, I wish it would be a bit better if my Wahlburger get going a bit faster. Your Wahlburger? Yeah. <laughs> Where are you? Where am I? Yes. 102.8 to the east and 103.1 to the west. This is Invicta FM. We're going to go network after the 10 o'clock news. And we hope for that right now. The 10 o'clock news. This is Howard Hughes. We've got some nuts. Bananas too. We keep them handy fresh for the galactic zoo. Or even at school. With solar snakes. Orbital bats. Constellations, eclipse, flocks of astro cats. When we feed, when we feed, our favourite pet, our favourite pet, the cosmic elephant gets really quite upset. I'm the cosmic elephant. Cause the crowd that used to feed him now feeds someone super funky. Unquestionably, number one superstar space monkey. Space monkey, twizzling round the stars. Space monkey, that's just what you are. Space monkey with a custard brain. In our solar system, there is no one quite the same. We say thank you to Brian at the uh, Coast AM. We're now Coast AM joins in Victor FM, and together we bring you Night Network. Hey, can I just say thank you very much to Mickey? Now, Mickey sent me, <laughs> Mickey gave me a tape of all these answer phone messages on it, and I've got to tell you, it's given me a brilliant idea. Would you like to listen to my own personal answer message that I have at home? Right, listen to this. I think you'll be quite impressed. Right, this is my home number, and this is my answer phone message at home. Hang on, I'm just dialing my home number. Have a listen to this and tell me if you found anything better. You ready for this? Hang on a second. We'll give it a ringing tone, hopefully. Shouldn't be no one there. I hope the bodyguard isn't there and picks up my phone. You better not do. Hang on, man. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I don't believe this. I ain't got connected. Right, okay. No panic. We'll do it again. One of them. One of them. One of them. And then we hit it with one of them, one of them, and one of them. Right, this is my home answer phone message. Listen to this. No one's home, so leave your name. Leave your message too. Oh, my darling, if you do. That was one of them. There's a load of others. I, I, I confuse people with every time they ring up. But that's an Elvis Presley one. I, I don't know if you liked it. I mean, it tickled me. Stephen. Hello, Caesar. Hello, mate. Can I speak to Venus, please? You can speak to Venus. St- uh, Venus, it's that number one fan of yours, Stephen. Stephen. Hello, Venus. Hi, how are you going? Oh, not too bad. Um, I've got another one of things about Caesar. When God was giving out looks, mm-hmm. Caesar thought he said books, so he asked for a comedy in the whole, all in one. <laughs> Actually, I've been sent a whole list of those. I'll read them out tomorrow. Yeah. Stephen? Yeah? When you finish with your face, King Kong wants his bum back. Now get off. <laughs> oh, please. Bye-bye. Oh, don't cut me off. No, I'm cutting you off now. Oh, please. Don't. Watch. I've got a joke for you, Caesar. Make it quickie. Right. How would you get a condom on an elephant's drunk? Go on. I'm told to dump you, so I'm dumping it because it's not nice. Go away. That was not a nice joke. Hello? Hey, Mr. B- B- Bodyguard. I'm doing all right. Where you been? Well, I was waiting for you to bring through, but I had a bit of a problem. Yeah, I know you had a bit of a problem. I'm trying to get through and I can't get, co- I can't get connected. Well, it's no problem because I'm connected, so you must be connected. Well, that's very true. Yeah, we're both connected, Bodyguard. You're absolutely right. Now, listen. Yeah, what? What is this that you've been arrested at the airport? You're not going to believe it. Last night, you know you said make sure Bubbles gets on the plane. Yeah. 
Well, I was making sure bubbles got on the plane. I, I like, strapped into the wheel on the undercarriage. It's <laughs> not getting away, you know what I mean? Yeah, I know. You, know, you can't know, do it. that. Yeah, go on. Yeah, I was walking through uh, customs and they said anything to declare, and I was trying to drag the jukebox back, but uh, bubbles weren't having any of it. And there's this woman, she kept coming over and battering me and, and sort of like hitting me and everything because I dragged it. And then when she found out it was Bubbles, she started kicking Bubbles as well. You know? <laughs> so, and then you got the right message and all that. Yeah, I got you, say. Anyhow, basically what he was is uh, there was a letter for you. Uh-huh. Uh, but I don't know whether I ought to read it out, you know. Well, is this a letter from Baby Bubbles? Well, see, he said give this to Caesar, but... Uh, well, you better read it to me. What does it say? Well, hang on a minute. I'll open it up. Yeah, that's a good idea. Here we go. Get it out. Right, I want it. Yeah. Dear Caesar. Yep. I shall write this letter so so much God can read it. <laughs> yeah. I know you're going to miss me when I have gone. Uh huh. But I can't read this writing. It's really bad. But don't forget the mouse is in the cupboard. Under the stairs with the chocolate biscuits. The mouse? Something like the computer, he said. Oh, my, my, my mouse, my computer. Oh, can't leave you. Go on. No wonder I can't find it today. Yeah, no, no. Anyhow, listen, I'm real sorry I've got to go. I am going to miss all of you guys down at the something place. I can't say that. Yeah. Time for me to sign off. I need to know that you will all be thinking of me when I'm gone. Love, Definitely. Love you all. Sorry about all the problems. Hope you don't miss your jukebox too much. But I have got my jukebox back, haven't I? Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, I've put it back in the house. I haven't been to the flat. I've been so busy today. I haven't had a chance to go back to the flat, but I'm glad you said that. But I'll tell you what, it fits in that space real nice now. What space? You know that space where it was jammed into before? What do you mean, what space it was jammed? It wasn't jammed into any space before. It was, it was in the corner. Yeah. Well, it fits there nice now. There's plenty of room now. Plenty of room. How'd you get plenty of room? Um, well, I dropped it when I pulled it out of the booth. It's just like, okay now, but there's only half the records in there, so you don't need the other half, so I sort it in halfway. I put it in the right spot, okay? <laughs> Bodyguard. Yeah. Words, tomorrow, round my house. Words, um, I don't know, where does he live? Who? Words. No, my house, tomorrow, I want a word with you, I want to have a look at what you've done on my jukebox. We'll see when you get on tonight. Listen, i got to go, right, I'll catch you later. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right, yeah, I thought, yeah I, thought, yeah, I thought you'd get out of that pretty quickly, the cheeky little monkey.